Howdy y'all, it's your host Rogue. Welcome back to Love It Games. And we're continuing a little Final Fantasy 13 today, so I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, tell me what you think in the comment section down below. About to hop right back into it. I swapped our paddle team, put Vanel up front, let her take lead since Orba is her hometown. And here we go, so I hope you enjoy. Into it. That looks like an easier way to get where we're going. Well, let's take it. Wouldn't want you to throw your back out climbing, old man. <laughs> you really are a charmer, aren't you? The kid almost looks pretty from here. Let's see, is there any items? Not with them. Seath. Vampire. I just realized Vanilla has all six of her ATB gauges. Use hers for a little bit. Let's pick up the slack. All right. Off of the gun, doggy. It only gave us one star. Oh, you're something different. A taxi. Huh? Finally back. After how many centuries? 
At least one. Now we're in Orba, might as well do a save. Makes you wonder what Orbo looked like before it went all to hell. Alright, so there's a mission there. Warp mission, which is good. That's what I was wanting to find. Once we complete the warp mission, we should be able to come in and out of Orba pretty easily. I may swap us up all commando. Vampire and whatever that thing was. Thundra, Watera, Arrow. Hey, a little buddy. The Suratisor, Orba Village proper, Class C. The time worn ghost town of Orba. I hardly recognize the place. Could use the Cynosaurus I've been sent to destroy have done this? Even if they did, what purpose will it serve to eradicate them now? Are the Falci planning to raise a new village in the White Wasteland? Well, whatever they intend, I suppose better get to the harbor where these creatures nest. Whoa. Whoa, that is a lot of them. Which is your house? What do you mean, which is ours? All of them. They're all ours. Yep, everyone in the village lived together. One big happy family? One heck of a lot of places to hang your hat. We're back. Orba Grand Pulse. So, do you want to take a look around? We better. We've got to find something to help us lose these brands. That's not the only reason we're here. You're finally home. Make the most of it. Zaz is right. It must be awkward though if everyone's living together, bathroom, shower time.
Alright. Game Crystal Sand. Grains of Crystal Sand choke the inner workings of the machine. Whatever purpose it once served, it will serve no longer. Oh, spinning camera. Is there anything back here? Oh. The pants. You're going down. Seeker. I'm gonna have to go around to like each area because there are things hidden within. What do you call them? Uh, points of interest. <laughs> The Chokeball doll was likely a child's village fond favorite. Its well-worn stitches show evidence of repeated mending. While not itself the most luxurious of beds, the sound of the fellow sleepers no doubt afforded some comfort to its occupant. Tell us am I see you? Whimsically color boxes, black with shattered mirror frame. Some young girl tried her chest to be sure. What are you focused on now? Pop this size could feed a great mini mouse and would have been used regularly for communal cooking. Say goodbye. He's not ready for the scrap heap just yet. Bit worse for wear, yeah. <sighs> Nothing I can't fix. Just need to track us down some parts. Vanilla's robotic pallet back tea is in dire need of repair. You should be able to find all five parts and necessary for replacement within the village of Orbo. All right. Oh, not trying to click that again. Does it mark the parts? Maybe that's what those are. Oh, well, they just killed them all. Alright, got a power cable, four parts remaining. <laughs> Battery pack, three parts remaining. There's one over there. You gonna move thing?
dead. Heavenly Axis. Take out the vampire. Vampire Hunter D over here. Hey, we got a gear from it. Oh, these little creatures. Giant's Glove. Oh, talk about a horrible camera angle. There's a part over there. You want to go over here? Sephiric Lens. Whoa, that made one puke. Reinforced leather bindings allow picture books and children's primers like these to withstand the attentions of their audience. That takes me up, takes me down. Can't go near the water. I can go up on the roof. There's a seat mission. It feels so peaceful here. East uh, mission. This little puppet. Police high powers. I have a feeling that one of those parts is up on that little strip right there. Just in case, we're gonna look right over here. And I don't want to go in there because I have a feeling it's going to force us to progress. 
These cards are common in the orbit function as both material and the mode of personal transfer. I am like certain this is going to force us to leave this area. I don't want to quite do that just yet. Let's see if we can install these parts and maybe that'll point us in the direction of one more. Presumably a large piece of a larger ship, this ruined assembly has long since been stripped of salvageable parts. Come on, that I cannot control. And before I get too far from Dacti or whatever this robot's name was, I want to double back a little bit to see if there's any parts behind where we were. What were you examining? Once visitors would have found their way with these signs, it's difficult to determine how long ago that it must have been. Another sign. Battered for ground sign, besides there are another victim in the silence of passage of time. Just quickly getting rid of these just to look around. Planning on too far back, but really figured we'd ran into fifth part. All right. Well, this is probably as far as back as we're gonna go. We'll run back to the robot. Take a second. right here. Roll up sack stuff with tools and outdoor laborers and once buried as a tag region. Tag proclaiming the name of its former occupant. That's annoying. So it's not right there. Uh, I'm going to look around. Give me a Alright, I've looked all over for this metal plate, so we're going to just go ahead and go into this building because I have not seen anything else around here that makes me think it's here. I'll take these guys out real quick.
I've been running around killing things, trying to find anything that remarks metal, like the next item, which is a metal plate. I didn't want to go into this building because I was afraid it's going to trigger the last thing. I'm still afraid it's going to trigger. Parch laborers relax here after a hard days toll or exhaustion adding to the savory long awaited refreshment. It legitly is showing that there's something there. I thought this was immediately going to take us into like a boss battle coming here. Years of rest have tightly cemented the doors of the shipping containers if they hold cargo. They do so with unyielding grip. You take metal plate. You can now go repair Bhakti. Now we gotta go all the way back. And we got a flame bane brooch. They're saying that ten times fast. Alright, so now we gotta go repair this robot. See what he has to say. Vanilla runs like she doesn't have a care in the world. Fang's weapon is such a badass weapon. Literally just trying our best to get back to where we need to go. We're gonna get plenty of CP though, because like I've battled all these monsters so many times running around looking for this stupid piece. Bhakti! Ah. Just a quick tune-up. <laughs> Don't mention it. Congratulations, you are a true pulsioneer pioneer. That somewhere out there a long forgotten equipment still exists to be found. Bakti's bonus fight number eleven. The towering Armatos is the undisputed king of the steppe. Get too close and even the Chocobo will turn tail feather and run. You obtain 10 vials of the septum all. Ultra compact reactors. Gold nugget. 5 vials of perfume. 3 platinum ingots. Congratulations. Some sea stones on the Archiseppe take time to activate. Alright. I was actually hoping for more info. Did 
everything come back to life, it looks like it. I mean, we do got a bunch of CP. We'll battle what we need to battle. That didn't stand up a sea stone, did it? Oh. Yeah, that sea stone's still down. I love the music in the background. It really makes me want to play Dark Cloud. I don't know how many of y'all have ever heard of that game. It was a PS2 game. Very Legend of Zelda-ish. But it had really great music. Coming up to one though. What did it just highlight? Railway must have ferried people to distant destinations now it's in ruin. Weather more cars sound amidst the rubble. Go ahead and burn some crystal. We're only gonna do it on our three uh, best warriors here. I think Fang's the uh, farthest behind on her crystal grid. Alright, it looks like... This goes on for a while, but ends right there. Boxes appear to control the railroad switch, thoroughly rusted, likely break with full. You wanna go? Let's go. I can't go to you, so you gotta go to me.
These things look like corrupted angels. Save station and an item. And it's giving me a shroud, so that tells me we are probably about to go into a boss battle. the sea. Embrace thy fate, thine home to burn, that fallen souls might bear our plea to hasten the divine's return. O piteous wanderer, Ragnarok, make of this day a brave epoch. Deliver the divine, Ragnarok. Sarah, how did you... <sighs> I was waiting for you to open your eyes. <sighs> All the time I was asleep, I knew what was happening. I kept trying to think of a way to save Cocoon. Together. with miracles to save us no matter where you look that's why we have to call one destroy orphan we'll save the world stop it you can't do that you love me too much you do don't you Claire enough already <laughs> listen up we are all shooting for the same goal here. <laughs> and the result of that is this. You son of a... <laughs> you betray your foul sea to chase after dreams and shadows. The world you claim to wish to protect now faces the end of days, with no hope of salvation. I didn't think Falci had the means. Oh, it won't be Falci who destroy her. For centuries now, Cocoon has provided generously for its human inhabitants every want and need. Coddled them, one might even say. The result being their deep-seated fear and hatred of change and all things alien. Fed, nurtured, and ready to detonate at the slightest spark. The seeds of destruction take root, even now. What did you do to Cocoon? I resigned, appointing Reigns as Primarch in my stead. Reigns? He's alive? Puppet is restrung to serve my needs. Yes, its eyes had long since turned to glass. Of course, the cavalry's eyes will see our friend as nothing more than a traitor to their cause. They'll say the Falci got to him too, or some such drivel. And imagine when I spread word that it's Orphan tugging at his strings. What happens next? What? Uh... You're gonna use the cavalry to take the thing out? <laughs> Perhaps, 
Or perhaps I'll feign the howling of Pulsian wolves and let the fear-addled sheep slaughter themselves first. Either way, the end is at hand. <laughs> but what of yourselves? Will you enjoy the festivities beside me? Or perhaps... Greet the end here, in the land where it all began. There we go. It, it's lagging, wow. Let's see, so he has 3.3 million health, drops goddess's favor. Trying to poison me now. Oh, you cast slow on me. You struggle in vain. Got it. At a hundred thousand CP and goddess's favor. my invitation to save a people beyond salvation there is only Ragnarok <laughs> cocoon suffers release her from the pain <sighs> Thank you. 
Wait. I don't really want to hop on the ship. So, this is the end of the rainbow, huh? Well, here's hoping the pot's full of tips on dealing with crackpot foul C. Hmm. You know, I don't remember this being here before. I guess it's new, huh? Yeah, must be. I suppose it might be a record of what happened. You know, after we turned to Crystal. Where the slayers of Lindsay dwell is the enemy of all life fostered by Pulse's sacred hand. So Alphal C determined Pulse's will, chose Lissy, and gave them a focus. Become Ragnarok and bring about the end of Cocoon. And so the beast arose, defeated Lindsay's hateful Falsi, and prepared to tear Cocoon apart. But her providence betrayed Alice, draining Ragnarok of strength. Their focus only half complete. The Lassie were taken to the enemy's land by Bartandalus, curse his name. And the goddess said, Lassie who rest upon Cocoon will reawaken, however long they may wait. And Ragnarok will rise again to tear the land from its seat in the sky. Her word is absolute. Guess the jig is up. Uh. Cocoon's done for, isn't it? Yeah, you don't sweat it. If we go ahead and smash Cocoon, you know some make a sure to roll up and save the day. <laughs> as long as Fal C are around, this fight is never gonna end. So let's finish it. Let's get Dysley. So what do we do about Orphan? We help Orphan. What else can we do? If we can manage to keep it safe, another war breaks out somewhere down the road. We're Lassie. It's not like we can make people stop fighting. <sighs> Lightning, you told me on Cocoon. It's not a question of can or can't. We just do it. That's our only choice this time. Maybe it won't do much. Maybe only one person will listen to us. But even then, isn't trying better than doing nothing? <laughs> because ripples can make waves. <laughs> okay, kids have gone crazy. Revolutionaries always get cold crazy. <laughs> when I was on Cocoon, I wished on those fireworks. I wished to not let anything happen to Cocoon this time. But I shouldn't have wished for that. Uh, <laughs> wishes aren't enough. Prayers either. This time I'm making a promise. I will keep Cocoon safe. I promise, no matter what. I guess it takes losing everything to make you see how much you have to fight for, huh? And we're the only ones who can do it, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right then, let's tie up loose ends. Okay, right. All right. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's not gonna stick and stay up. Destination, I guess. We're gonna run back and save. Actually, burn some crystal.
That'll help make us quite a bit stronger. Got split between the two. Alright. Guess we should do some upgrading here soon. And I think what we're gonna do is more mission runs. Dust to dust. Their own worst enemy. We're going to go ahead and call it an episode there. So thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and tell me what you think in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Hey, God bless. Peace.